So, we have to apply what we learned from Sir Zyriel. So, we have to apply, yung una niya is, ano daw po kung natandaan? Yung ating mechanism of singing. What is regulation again? Breathing. Okay, I will be teaching also the breathing technique later. So, I want to see the posture. Siyempre, kasama ka agad, di ba? Opo, kahit sa pag-upo natin. Uh, how do we sit when we are in the rehearsal? Ha? Huh? Pwede bang nakasandal? Nakaslouch? Ano po? Ano ang ating gagawin? Dapat ay... Token. So, okay. Ayan. So, this one, mamaya iaano natin yung mga techniques. So, it says here that our body is our instrument. Is your instrument. We have to take care of our body. Just like the instrument. If you're a violinist, you have to take care of your instrument properly. So, Dr. Koss already explained to us how to take care of our voice. Diba pag namamaga yung ating vocal cords, yung vocal folds, we need the proper breathing, what food do we need to take? So ang ganda kasi sunod-sunod na yung ating mga topic and very factual ang tinuturo sa atin lahat. So whether sitting or standing, the body should be always be alert and ready to sing. Alert and ready to sing. So when we are sitting, Ano sabi dyan? Apply nga natin. Okay. Feet slightly apart with the weight of the body. Forward, feel as if you are about to stand. Ako sa choir ko, nanunulak ako. Yes, you can ask the high school because I've been teaching so long in the academy. Pag paantok-antok na sila, tutulak ko yan sila. Pag hindi naka-position, laglag sila. Or, yung mga naka-number four, di ba nakakainis tingnan? Sa conductor, nakaganun, oh. Feeling ang galing-galing. Tapos, baba, tulak mo yan. Sa akin, ha? Pampagising. Well, anyway, because I'm teaching high school, kaya parang kailangan active sila. So, we have to what? To be alert, even in sitting. Next, body tall with hips, spine and head direct into the line with one another. Next, play na ni Zyril kanina. Yung parang model, ang tayo, longer neck, broad shoulders. Yan, parang laging ready, parang sundalo na nakaano dyan. Hindi naman nakatinga lang ganon. Level lang lagi din ang chin. So, chest naturally elevated to enhance breathing. Shoulders back and relax. Dapat hindi naman naka-chest out. Relax lang. Okay, arms held naturally by the side of the body. Kasi may ibang kumakanta na kaganun, no? Napansin nyo yon? Parang naninigas yung arms. We should be relaxed. Kitang-kita yan, lalo na pag soloist ka. Okay. Head square on the shoulders as if being lifted by the crown of your head. Yun yung pulling up. Okay? So, posture. Lagi pong kailangan yan sa singing. Okay na po? Any question? Standing. Yun yung sa sitting kanina. While well, on standing, feet shoulder width apart with the weight of the body slightly forward. So I'm asking my voice student to stand properly. Yung kanina, yung lapad ng katawan natin should be the same with the, with the, the, the width of the feet. Pero sa akin, pinapa, forward ko lagi ang isang paa, either left or right. Why? Kasama yun sa pagtayo eh, package ka, singer ka. If we were talking about the proper way of singing, syempre, una ka agad, tayo pa lang. Eh, kung ang, ang tatayo sa harapan, sa so leader ka, magandang umaga, mga kapatid, nakayoko ka. Umaga. Eh, kung nakatayo kang ganyan, ay, ang smart ang ating song leader. Di ba? You're a song leader. So, you have to act and you have to lead out with vigor and what? Huh? Smart and, oh, ano nga yung isang word pa? 
always wear a smile. Oh, marami namang smile. Kahit ako ba, nakasmile eh. Ano bang kailangan? Compose lagi. Kasi we are, hindi tayo pwedeng pa-slouch-slouch at saka palamya-lamya because we are the song leader. Sabihin ng mga visitors sa church natin, ay, ang lamya naman ng song leader nila. Kaya walang inaantok, walang naatend ng Sabbath school eh. O mamaya, meron pa tayong ano. Ano yung tawag doon? Song leadership. Makikita yan mamaya. So yan ha, forward. Knee slightly relax, locking the knees creates tension throughout the body and may cause one to faint. So parang nanigas ka na doon, hindi na na ano yung legs mo. Dapat relax ka doon. Body tall with the hip spine and head directly in line with one another. Chest naturally elevated to enhance breathing. Shoulders back and relax. So pareho din halos doon sa seating, no? Arms held naturally by side of the body. Head square on shoulders as if being lifted by the crown at the head. So same thing, when you're sitting, the difference is you're standing this time. Okay? Malino po? Okay, mamaya meron tayong demo sa song leadership niyan. Observe how an infant breathes when sleeping or even a dog panting. Ah, hindi na check kanina ni Cyril, no? Can everybody stand and uh, grab a partner? By tools. I want you to check your breathing technique. Okay. Pakitingnan po ha. Bawal tumaas ang shoulders. Okay? So this is the correct, correct breathing. Di ba pag nakahiga ka, you observe. Pag nakahiga po ba tayo, nataas ang ating shoulder? Di po ba? Hindi. Dapat dito lang. O sige, nasan po ang partner? Tayong partner, ma'am. Ayan. Tingnan natin ngayon. Titingnan natin ang ating partner. Oh, paano tumayo? We will check it. We will have to apply right away. Kasi wala na tayong time. Ayan. Square. Chin. Oh, nakaano. Now, can we inhale together? Oh, check each other, ha? Kailangan hindi tataas ang shoulder na parang may mga sakit na ano. Ano ngayon? Ha? Hikain or may ano, tuberculosis? Parang gumaganon? O, tingnan natin. O, nandyan si Doc. Makikita niya. Okay, let's breathe. O, ba't walang mga partner? I-check nyo kung tama, ha? Dapat ang umaangat ay ito. Diaphragm. Sabi nga ni Ellen G. White, that is the proper breathing and it helps to circulate the blood properly if we breathe properly. Lahat naman tayo nahinga eh. Kaso ang tanong, correct ba? Oh, ngayon, this is the time that we check our breath, breathing technique. Okay, let's try. Inhale. Oh, merong gumalaw. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Wag naman pigilan ng hinga, ha? Baka maano kayo dyan. Oh, inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, thank you po. Ngayon, may naobserbahan ba kayo? Pwede na pong umupo. Anong naobserbahan natin? Ha, ano ma'am? Nag-improve ba? Or conscious lang kayo kasi may nakatingin? Di ba usually when we, when we breathe, parang wala lang, hinga lang dito, ganun lang. Pero dapat, this is our body. Isipin natin, this is our instrument. Okay? So, parang ang katawan natin, para siyang balloon. Na pag humihinga tayo, nag expand at tumataas yung lang yung rib cage natin. So very thin lang yung line ng ating uh, upper lower abdomen and upper abdomen. Merong thin line diyan. So kung tama yung air natin at puno ng air yun, umaangat siya. And that's the time that we have enough support for our breathing technique so that we can sing the line clearly. Yung iba kasi parang hihikain na, mahihimatay na eh pag kulang ang breathing. Okay. So sinabi ko dito yung baby kasi pag humihiga ang baby, very relaxed ang hinga niya. We should do the same thing. Okay. Singing technique becomes easier when you concentrate more on the musical elements. Then you have to stand taller. Hindi pwedeng magpa-slouch-slouch. Kasi bakit kailangan mag-slouch? Ay, mag-stand taller. Sinasabi ko sa mga sudyante ko sa voice, What is the mechanism? Why do I ask you to stand properly? Bakit nga ba? Pwede namang kumantang nakaupo at nakapamaywang eh. 
Bakit pa pa, uh, pa kailangan ba stand properly pa? Pinapahirapan pa ni ma'am. Di ba? Bakit? Kasi when we breathe, we can breathe easily. Then I'm asking them to lower their larynx in order for the air to pass through easily. Then of course, yung kanina yung vowels na yung example ni Zyril, ni Sir Zyril, meron tayong sinasabi dun sa vocal technique, I'm asking them to make a dome. Imagine, we cannot manipulate our vocal cords. That's the difference. Other instruments, you can manipulate it. You can bang it, you can make it louder, softer. Pero ito, paano? Eh, nasa loob siya, alam operahan ito lagi. Sige nga, paano? How can we create a good voice? A good sound? By? By? Yes, ano sabi kanina? We have to be conscious. We have to think. We have to give command to our muscles because we're using our muscles. Yan ang pagkakaiba po ng voice. O ngayon, kung hindi ka aware, ay yung katulad ng tunog kanina, yung vowels dapat naka head tone. O, pero paus ako eh, katulad ng na-discuss ito kanina, nag-ano ko, nag-ice cream ako ng marami. Ang sarap kasi ng ice cream. Paano ko idadaya? Maririnig ni Direk. Anong daya doon? Anong pandaya doon? Sinasabi ko lagi sa aking students, you can make it also as choir directors, you have to lift the soft palate, especially when you're singing high notes, you have to put your soft palate and imagine that the soft palate is level with your eyes. So, anong nangyayari inside your mouth? Instead of putting the mouth like this, Ano nangyari when we lift it? Huh? It will create a what? Round sound, no? Curving sound. Pero, hindi naman pwedeng angat na angat ito. O, di ba? Halimbawa, kumakain ka ng big apple. Ito lang bang jong ibababa natin? No. Same. The upper mask or this one, you have to open this and also this one. Hindi naman pwedeng sobrang baba. Na parang ano naman yon? Dapat taka level lang. As you're biting a big apple, and you have to raise inside. So lagi mong i-imagine na ganun ang position ng mouth mo. Okay. So kanina dapat articulated ang vowels to create a good sound. Meron pang isang sekreto. Kung dami yun na sekreto ha, yung iba ang tagal-tagal makuha yan pag nagbo-voice lesson. I'm always saying them that you have to put an O sound in each vowel. Para hindi siya bababa. A, E, I, O, U. So, nakaganoon na siya. Tama ba? Okay. Everybody sit properly. Then say the five vowels na meron siyang O sound. Okay. Very minimal ang movement. So, A. Tala lang, ha? Okay. Ready? Go. A, E, I, O. O, oh, ba Mas madali. O, oh, pag hindi naintindihan, ipasabunot mo yung buhok. Hindi naintindihan eh. O, oh, parang nakalift, nakagay, o, oh, nakahang. Yung feeling na nakahang. ba O, oh, choral conductors, you can add that one para ma-maintain yung ganong sound. ba Kailangan nag-iisip. Kaya yung pag, pag kumanta ka na, ay, matalinong tunog yun. Alam na kaagad, ay, basta kumanta lang. Diba? As song leaders, leaders, word for the leader, we have to think when we sing. Don't just sing. Na pang fill in. We have to think of the sound. We have to think of the song. We have to think of our posture. And we have to give commands to those muscles inside to what? To work that muscle properly. Okay? So it's very important. Okay. Breathing, basic breathing techniques, maintain correct sing posture, relax the face and jaw and throat muscles, inhale silently. Di ba may naririnig tayo pag kumakanta, parang hinihigup ka? Alam mo yun, parang, parang gano'n, parang mahim... Kawawa naman to singer na to, parang ang gihingalo. Di ba meron tayong gumakuslalim pa dito, makikita mo? Dapat hindi nakikita ng mga audience na nahihirapan tayo. Singers, huwag mong ipakita. Kailangan labanan mo yun. I-expand, di ba sabi ko sa inyo, our body is like a balloon. 
when we breathe, dapat hindi siya na uubos. Oh? Di ba? Pag umi, oh, gumaganon. Dapat, oh, may expand siyang ganon. Di ba? Ito, oh, instead na lulubog ito, ine-expand mo pa up to the back area. If we're using the breathing technique properly, up to this back area, mararamdaman mo yung Yes. Okay. Pero yan, we have to exercise it regularly. Hindi siya makukuha ng magic agad na ganun. We have to work on that. Okay? So we have to inhale silently. Entire torso should feel expanded, including your ribs across the back. Upper body, including your shoulders, remain relaxed and naturally elevated. Set the mouth in position of the first vowel sound. So you have to think properly how to create that vowel correctly. Okay? Breath support. Don't hold it. Meron namang iba na pigil na pigil sa kanilang pagbibreathe. Diba? Kaya nga may breathing eh. Gagamitin natin yun sa pagkanta at sa paglilid out natin. Controlled exhalation provides the singer with enough air to make beautiful sounds and complete the musical phrase. When exhaling, imagine yourself as a tube of toothpaste. Alam natin lahat yung toothpaste, di ba? Roll the tube from the bottom, then you are able to extract all the paste air neatly. So may exercises yan sa vocalization, na mauubos yung air niya, parang minsan sinasabi ng students ko, ma'am, nakakahilo na. Ba't ka nahihilo? Kasi... Before, you're not using your muscles properly. Tapos may hihilo ka, nilalagyan mo na yung, nilalagyan mo na itong part na to up to the back area ng air, then going up, tapos pinaparilease ko ng matagal, nahihilo sila. Then they have to intake a lot of air. That's why I'm asking them to go to the pool and exercise there. To what? To have a strong lungs because singers should have that. Oo. Nagbababos doon na matagal. Magbababos. Diba nabanggit na kanina ni Doc yun? Isa yun sa exercise. Paano yung panting? Pwede yun, pero para nagpuputol-putol yung air mo doon eh. Sa akin, ang best exercise is you go to the pool and you have to magbababol ka. Ano ba? Ten. Mag-inhale ka by nose. Exhale by, ay, by mouth. Then exhale by nose sa ilalim ng underwater. So, first ten. The next, 15, 20, 25, 30, up to 50, and so on. So, yun ang pinaka-exercise na maganda. At the same time, humahaba yung breathing mo at lumalakas yung lungs mo. Okay? Isa yun. The air is used from the lowest point in the lungs first and slowly works its way up until it's fully expelled. Okay? Okay? The shoulders, chest, neck, and jaw are not involved in exhalation and should remain relaxed and out of the way. So, mali, choral directors, mali pag meron ng gumagano na baba. Or, ang dami niyan eh, naninigas ang leeg, naninigas ang shoulders, naninigas ang baba. Have you noticed it? O, oh, yun. Pag medyo nanigas na yan, I-relax mo ulit ang iyong choir. Pwede rin ipamassage mo muna yung mukha to relax the muscle. Meron pang isang technique mamaya. Papagawa ko mag-aano tayo, magla-line tayo dito or circle. Dapat itong muscle dito, dito sa ating shoulder, pag iyan ay tense, matigas na rin ang tunog mo. Okay? Dapat, when we exercise, itong part na to, Dito sa atin, ito, ha? Dito sa shoulder natin, it should be relaxed. Okay? Pag matigas yan, tapos may performance, or this one, this is the tongue rest. Can you put your thumb here? Ganyan yan, ganyan nyo. Malambat, matigas. <coughs> Tingnan nga po. Ayan, medyo matigas siya. Pwede po ba? Oh, medyo matigas. So we have to, ex to relax it. So this is the tongue rest. We have to relax it also. 
That's why we have exercises stretching before we sing. It's very important for the singer. Okay? Staggered breathing or staggered breathing also referred to as a catch breath. Bakit kailangan ito? We can hear it from our directors, right? Oh, mag-staggered breathing kayo. Bakit? Yes, at para hindi mamatay ang phrase, ang line. So, pag-staggered breathing, pag hindi ko na kaya, magkindata na kayo dyan. Sino mauna maghinga sa atin dalawa? Kailangan hindi tayo sabay, ha? Halimba, tabi kayo mag-soprano. Hindi tayo sabay maghinga. O mamaya, nanigas ka naman. Mabura yung pakita, naninigas ka na doon. So, dapat relax pa rin. Pero, nasa sa inyong members na yan, ang technique on how to what? To use the staggered breathing technique to complete the phrase of the song. Okay? The object is to take turns breathing with your neighbor or section. Do not compete the syllable or word to breathe. Rather, inhale and continue singing on the vowel. It is important to breathe while others are singing a vowel. You may have to omit the following consonants or pitch, but no one will ever know. And it's a no-no thing. Don't breathe at the bar lines. Yung parang binagsak mo ang paghinga. Diba? Dapat... Hindi halata yon. Kaya kailangan natin ng staggered breathing. Okay, creating a tone. Each voice produces its own unique characteristic sound. So good posture and breathing habits. Tongue forward in mouth and gently laid behind the lower front teeth. I'm always saying this to my basic voice students. Diba? When, oh, hindi mo pwedeng i-pull back yung tongue mo. Dapat the tongue should be what? Relax. You, the tongue should be touching the lower front teeth at the back area. Hindi naman pwedeng, oh, kasi pag, pag, pag inuro mo yung dila, oh, parang nagchichoke ka. Tapos ano nangyayari sa larynx mo? Ano nangyayari? Umaangat siya. Instead of going down, nabablockage yung air. Kaya dapat the tongue should be what? Relax. So, kung hindi ka masyado pang sanay yung muscle mo, ang sinasabi ko lagi, you have to think, you have to feel the, you have to feel that your tongue is touching the lower back part of your teeth. Ha, huh? kaganya. Hindi naman siya pwedeng raw. Oh, magkukurl naman ang sound. Iba naman. Iba pa rin dapat kailangan. Yung flow ng air is, ano, free. Hindi mo siya iba-blockage, hindi mo siya iro-roll. It should be relaxed. So the tongue should be relaxed, the jaw should be relaxed, the neck should be relaxed, the shoulder should be relaxed. Saan ang tensionado? Eh, relax lahat eh. Saan natin ilalagay ang tense? Siyempre, meron pa rin tensionado. Of course, this one. Because we are breathing and we are, we need the breath. Support. Kaya minsan pag high notes na anong sinasabi, sige umiri ka, pero dapat hindi nakikita sa mukha mo. And you have to have that strong legs. Kaya nga tama dapat ang pagtayo mo. Pero this upper part, hindi nararamdaman ng iyong audience, nahirap na hirap ka na pala. Tama po ba? Kala nila nakasmile ka doon, hindi nila alam you're raising your upper mask. You're raising your upper mask. That's one technique. Diba? Marami po tayong technique to maintain the good sound. Okay. Yan. Sing into the mask. Keep the sound projecting forward. <clears throat> As if it were coming out of your eyes. Uh, I don't know kung tama ba, Dok. Ang pagkakaintindi ko kasi sa mechanics. We have these resonances here. Tama yung mga butas dyan. Gamitin nyo yan. Yan ang pinaka-speaker natin. May sound kasi na parang hindi marinig, di ba? So, ang exercise dyan sa vocalization, you open it. Put the air there. How would you know that it has an air already? How? When you vocalize, instead of saying the vowels, close your mouth, hindi naman siya naka, naka ganun, yung relax na pagka-close. Then try to make a sound. At the same time, you're making a dome inside. 
you're trying to open your resonances. Kahit naka-close ang mouth mo, ano nangyayari sa boses? Di ba? Ano nangyayari? Naturally, when you have that resonances, it will what? Ano nangyayari po? Nagvavibrate ang sound mo. The sound wants to go out in your mouth. E naka-close ang lips mo. Inoopen niya yung resonances. Gagapang ang air dyan. At pag meron na tayo niyan, you will feel the vibration here. Mamakate. Yes, makate. Kasi hindi sanay ang muscle mo gamitin yun eh. But we have to use that to create a good vibrating sound. We don't need to shout. We don't need to yell if we, do, if we have that technique. Naturally, the sound will come out. Okay, so you have to practice that also. Opening your resonances. Sing on a yawn-like feeling. Keep the soft palate, upper back, part of the inside of your mouth raised, creating a resonating space. Aim for rich, warm sound. Hindi siya piercing. Kaya sinasabi natin na dapat laging upward technique. Maik! Bawal yung ganun na sound, di ba? Yung sideward. We have to yawn. We have to make a dome inside. Or, basic. Lagi kong sinasabi, when you sing, whatever the vowels is, you have to include an O sound there. Okay? Yan ang basic. Okay? So, yan pong ating vocal techniques. And I hope that you remember those things. Ano na po bang kasunod nito? Uh, song leadership? Uh, basic and... Ano? On to next topic. Walang piyesa. Okay, I want to see the posture. You already know the posture when you're while you're sitting or standing. You know already how to breathe. Hindi aangat yung balikat. Discreetly, hindi yun ang ihigup ng tao. We have to breathe from the nose. Discreetly lang. May poise palagi, kumbaga. And, position of the mouth. Ano nga position of the mouth? Uba? Lagi na ka, may dome na tayo inside, di ba? Kanina kay, kay Sir Cyril, dapat, naka? Naka pull up. O ngayon, para hindi lang pull up, dapat mayroon na tayong dome inside to create what? What kind of sound? Rich, warm sound. Okay, can we try it? Side read tayo. Nangihiram ako. Diba mas magaan po? Ma na mahirap ba? Ang ganda ng mga boses nyo. Oh, so sana po ma-apply po natin ito at maturo natin yung basic things sa ating mga kapatiran when we go back to our local churches. Thank you po.